Today, I'm going to tell a story about the difference between competing in a professional race versus being a professional race car driver. So I'll take you back to our first King of the Hammers. Now, King of the Hammers is a week-long event culminating in what is the toughest single-day off-road race in the world. And throughout this week leading up to the main event, there's all kinds of activities going on. There's pre-running, there's qualifying, there are multiple races that lead up to the main day. And now our team, like every other team out there, experienced their issues during the week. And what we learned right out of the gate was the difference between most teams competing in a pro race versus the legit professional teams is how quickly you can diagnose, assess, repair, and get your car back out on course. And we struggled with that. So when we were pre-running, we got through the first 15 miles and we discovered a major fuel leak. So we had to shut everything down and get back. And why that's relevant is because every year, the King of the Hammers, which is roughly a 200 mile race, the first 15 miles is virtually the same. It's after that, after that first pit at mile 15 where the course changes. Sometimes it goes clockwise through the desert. Sometimes it goes counterclockwise through the desert. But either way, the first 15 miles is the same. I'll tell you why that's relevant in just a minute. So we get back to the pits and we're, it takes us almost a day to fix the fuel leak. Then we discover we had a GPS issue. That takes us a day to fix. And in between all that repair time, we essentially lost all of our time to go out and continue pre-running. So we knew we were going to line up for race day with 15 miles under our belt. Well, it gets to race day. And we get through all that madness and we're so excited we can hardly stand it. Adrenaline is spiking through the roof and we're lined up and the green flag drops. And ironically enough, we're flying. So we have a great start at the race. We get to mile 15, that's where the pits are. Those guys check out the car, they wave us on, everything looks good, we're off into the desert. So mile 16 passes by and we go by, past the mile markers and it's backwards. I was like, well that's kind of weird. But again, it's our first pro race so we didn't think much of it. And we keep plowing on and now we get to the second mile, which should be mile 17, and those mile markers are backwards. And as we pass those, I kind of see on my peripherals it says like mile 48 or 49, and now I know something's wrong because we did not just cover 50 miles in 20 minutes. And so I pull off the side of the track. As a matter of fact, I pull about 200 yards off the side of the track because I was nervous that we were now going to be a threat or a danger to other drivers on course. And through all this yelling and screaming back and forth between my co-driver and I, we discovered that it was not the mile markers that were backwards, it was us that was backwards. And as it turns out, we had a bad map. This caused some serious emotional debate in the car and we determined that we were most likely disqualified. We had now missed three checkpoints, we had gone backwards on course, and we decided to just hang out there until some teams that were on the right course passed us, we were gonna drop in behind them and get back to pits and figure it out. So we do just that. Teams pass us, we drop in and we get back and now the temper tantrum mode is engaged. I am as about as upset as it gets. I'm throwing off my window net, I throw down my helmet and I just sit down on a spare tire and bury my head in my hands. Meanwhile, while I'm sulking, my wife and my team are going back and forth trying to figure out is there any way that we can get back out on course. Now, the pit crew that was beside us happened to be Eric Miller's team. Coincidentally, I think Eric Miller was in the lead at this time, but they heard what was going on and without hesitation offered us one of their spare maps. So again, when we talk about another difference between teams competing in a pro race versus the professional teams, the Miller camp not only had their map loaded properly, but they had backup maps for their backup maps. And they gave us one of them, uh, which we gladly accepted. So I take the map, and I didn't want to just go back out on course without making sure that we weren't DQ'd. So I go running into the race ops tent. And now I'm going to tell a little side story here. The race ops guys, they did not have it terrible on race day. I burst into their tent and the first thing I see is this big black leather wraparound sofa. And then they're watching the race on this big screen TV. And I'm telling you, there was a shrimp cocktail bar and I swear they're drinking mimosas. But... Uh, Dave Cole, he jumps up and he sees me, he looks at me right in the eyes and goes, Jay, why aren't you in a race car? And 
fighting back emotions. I explained them what happened, took full responsibility, full accountability for you know being on course the wrong direction. And I said, Dave, I understand it if you want to DQ us for being off course. And he kind of smiled for a second. He looked at me and said, Jay, if I disqualified every car for being off course, Shannon Campbell would never finish a race. And so we laughed for a second and he had about 10 seconds of silence and said, go get in your bleeping race car and go race. And so without saying anything, I turned around, ran back to my guys and I'm yelling and screaming now, I'm waving the you know, map in there and saying, buckle up, suit up, we're back in the game. So we load up the map, it loads up perfectly and we're off. And here's maybe one of the biggest lessons I've ever learned in how to become a pro. And that is not only did we get Eric Miller's map, but we got Eric Miller's notes. It was unbelievable. By the second mile outside of the start finish line, we were seeing an enormous amount of detail and the most meticulous course markings that you could ever imagine. I was a faster driver that day because of Eric Miller's notes. And so we did great. We covered another 120, 130 miles before actually a transmission line fire uh, DNF'd us for that day. But I can tell you, looking back, that was maybe one of the single greatest lessons that I've learned in becoming a pro. And I will be indebted to Eric Miller and his team really forever in my racing career because not only did we learn you know, how to be a better pro that day, but I'm a faster driver now because of the lessons that we learned in his notes and his meticulous preparation. So huge thanks to them. And yes, m one of many lessons that I've learned along the way.